The Lucky Ones is a 2008 American comedy drama directed by Neil Berger. The screenplay by Berger and Dirk Wittenberg focuses on three United States Army soldiers who find themselves drawn together by unforeseen circumstances. Having completed his latest tour of duty, middle-aged SSG Fred Chiaver has retired from military service and is returning home to his wife and son in suburban St. Louis. PFC Khalid Dunn and SSG TK. Pool each have a 30-day leave, and both are headed to Las Vegas. Khalid plans to visit the family of her friend, a soldier who was killed in action after saving her life, and TK wants to engage the services of a sex surrogate he hopes will cure the impotence he is experiencing as the result of a shrapnel injury before he reunites with his girlfriend. Upon arrival at JFK, the three strangers discover all outbound flights have been cancelled due to a lengthy blackout that ended just prior to their arrival. Rather than face a potentially long wait before normal flight schedules resume, they rent a minivan and begin to drive westward. Upon arrival at home in St. Louis, Chiaver learns his wife Pat wants a divorce, and his son Scott has been accepted at Stanford University. Scott's scholarship will pay for only part of his tuition and he needs to pay the $20,000 balance immediately in order to secure his place at the university. He decides to visit his brother in Salt Lake City, but first drives Kali and TK to the airport so they can fly to Vegas. When they see how devastated Chiaver is, they fear his state of mind will put him at risk on the open road and decide to continue with him. As their journey progresses and they open themselves up to each other, the three gradually become closer and find themselves sharing unexpected adventures. At a revival meeting conducted by Pastor Jerry Nolan, a member of the congregation invites them to a birthday party in his palatial home, where they must endure anti-war sentiments expressed by the man's adult children and Chiaver is seduced by a guest who expects him to participate in a threesome with her and her husband Bob. Later, Kali and TK leave Chiaver at a campsite, and while driving they are forced to flee an approaching tornado and take shelter in a drainage ditch. As they cling closely to each other, TK discovers he might not need the sex surrogate after all. Chiaver decides to bypass Salt Lake City and travel to Vegas to try his luck in the casinos. When Kali discovers that a guitar similar to the one she is returning to her boyfriend's parents recently sold at an online auction for $22,000, she is tempted to give it to Chiaver, but he encourages her to complete her mission. Kali is welcomed warmly by her friend's parents, Tom and Jeannie Klinger, but quickly discovers that not only nothing he had told her about himself and his past was true, but he had omitted some important details as well. Neither of the Klingers recognize the guitar, supposedly a family heirloom, and living with them are Shannon and the baby she had after a one-night stand with their son. The Klingers invite Kali to spend the remainder of her leave with them. Disillusioned, she declines, but she asks if she can keep the guitar, and they readily agree. Kali, Chiaver, and TK are reunited at the local police station, where TK has been brought after confessing to a casino robbery Kali's friend had claimed he committed before enlisting. T.K's plan to avoid returning to the Middle East by being sentenced to a prison term backfires when he learns the crime was yet another fabrication. Kali insists Chiaver take the guitar but he tells her he already has the $20,000 he needs. His friends are stunned he won the money so quickly, but Chiaver confesses he received it as a bonus for re-enlisting. They go their separate ways, but weeks later meet again at the airport as they prepare to return to Iraq.